Speaking of sport, as ever tonight, we'll be testing the knowledge of our sporting celebrities and their captains. But which team will come out on top? Let's meet them. Joining Matt is an Olympic silver medal winning swimmer and a European champion sprint relay specialist. Yes, please welcome Sharon Davis and Harry Aitkinsarite. tonight is a Premier League sharpshooter and a three-time world snooker champion. Please welcome Glenn Murray and Mark Selby. Well, let's get on with the show and we're going to start with a one-minute round and Matt, we are coming to your team first. 60 seconds on the clock, starting now. Brad Hall and Joel Fernan represented Great Britain in which sport at the Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang? Bobsleigh. Yes. Which Australian won all three men's backstroke goals at the 2018 Commonwealth Games? Mitch Larkin. Yes. What is missing from both of these badges? Eagles. An eagle. Yes. In 2019, Anne Kiothavong led Great Britain to their first promotion in 26 years in which competition? The Fed Cup. Yes. Who is this depicting? Uh, who is it depicting? Yes, so major called... champs. To... Oh, clues, clues to Tom Tom Watts or something. Clues to him. Oh, uh, Green Bear. What does that mean? I don't know. Golden Bear is Arnold Palmer. No. No, Golden Gold Bear. Bear. Jack Nicholas. Yes. Yeah. At the <laughs> IWF World Relays in uh, 2019, which country won all three mixed events? America. Yes. These three all share their names with words that come before dance. Uh, uh, um, boogie. Uh, uh, Latin, no. American, no. foxtrot dance, no, so disco. Break, dance. Break, break. Was it break? No. <laughs> break. Was it break? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We've ran out of time. There's uh, Jodie Morris. I oh, know. Morris. <laughs> Jake Tapp. Oh. <laughs> and my favourite, Toby Belly. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. But a uh, good start. You scored six. Well, we'll, well six. done. Six. Yeah. <laughs> Phil, it's your chance to get some points on the board. Your sure. time starts now. In which sport did Great Britain win the most medals at the 2016 Olympics in Rio? Track, field, swimming, rowing, cycling. Yes, cycling. Norwich City and which other team won automatic promotion to the Premier League last season? Sheffield Wednesday. United. Sheffield United. Yes. Uh, what is missing from both of these badges? Oh, it's a, a, a tiger. tiger. Yes. Yeah. In May, jockey uh, Donica O'Brien won which English classic for the second time in a row? Um, Grand National? No. Gold Cup. Derby. English classic, no. Uh, uh, Derby. Want to move on? No, yeah, 1,000 guineas, 100 guineas, 2,000 guineas. 2,000, yes. yes. <laughs> Who is this depicting? Um, dark player. Phil Taylor. Yes, it is. <laughs> Who won the 2019 snooker shootout final to win his first ranking title? Michael Giorgio. No. Keep going. Uh, keep going. Shoot 20, 2019. Move on. Keep, move on. Keep, okay. keep, keep, keep. These three all share their names with types of party. Acid house party. <laughs> 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 Um, something party. Um, uh, rave. Rave party. No. Um, no. Tory party. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you got it, did it? Tep did we still get the points? Though? No, sadly. No. No. <laughs> yeah, Tep Chai And uh, the two you missed out on the board, Hen oh. is, uh, and Tommy Paul. <sighs> Party. But uh, another good start at the end of the opening round. The teams are tied, both on six. <laughs> okay, teams, we have a sports action for you now. There's a lot to take in, so write down as much as you can. Masterful backstroke swimming. Two gold medals at this championships. That's wonderful. And it's gold. Record. A wonderful ride from start to finish, and Great Britain are the world champions. And a rich for the line by Blaine and Willie Army, and the festivities begin again. One now.
hole's cut in a very easy spot if you drive it in a fairway. See a lot of guys hit it close here today. Here comes the final tumble. Double shot. Boy, oh boy. That was impressive. Maybe a lot of emotion coming out of him. The squares on the board uh, feature a sport that you have just seen, and behind them is a picture of a sports star. The questions are on the buzzer. If you get it right, it will reveal that portion of the picture, and you'll get a chance to guess the identity of the hidden sports star. Get it wrong, and the square will remain uncovered. Fingers at the ready. Oh, right, we're in. Who was scoring for West Ham United in the Premier League? <laughs> Glenn? Mark Arnautovic. Yes, it was. Well done. Good work. <laughs> So a point for that Top and one. reveal yeah. the football section. What have we got here? Oh, an ear. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's nice. Mm. Um, any any famous ears you fancy there? <laughs> not a BFG, is it? No. <laughs> um, um, let's have a little go at Matthew Pinsent. Okay. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers on the buzzers. Who was winning a world all-around silver behind Simone Biles? <laughs> Phil. Ellie Downey. No. Oh. Goes on offer. Anyone want to buzz in? She's American. No. Don't think we know, Sue. Don't know? No. Okay. American. It was Gabby Douglas. Gabby Douglas. So that part of the picture will remain hidden. What bit was it? Oh, it's, it's all right. Yeah. Unless he's got a really big chin. <laughs> <laughs> in what year was Neil Robertson winning the world? Mark? 2010. Yes, it Good. was. Well, well done. Well, well. Not sure how much you're going to get Go here. On, bit of chin, bit of stubble. Hopefully, it's not a lady. Oh, it is a bit of stubble as well. Oh, Go on. Is it Hamilton? Is it? That's a lovely shout. Is it Lewis Hamilton? It's nice. That's his little could polo be. that he wears. Could be. Could be. Possibly. That little, little white sure. fire suit that they wear. No longer here. I'll have a go on. Lewis Hamilton? Uh, no. Oh, unlucky. Okay. Okay. So, fingers back on the buzzers. Liam Tancock was winning Commonwealth gold in which city? <laughs> Sharon? Oh, we're going to have a go. Melbourne. Uh, no, oh. it goes on offer. Oh, hold on a minute. Uh, Liam Tancock. Commonwealth. Uh, Commonwealth. Gold. When was the Common Commonwealth Games knocking about? Uh -huh. Not Melbourne. Liam Tancock. Uh, um, Commonwealth. I'm not very good on my geography. <laughs> uh, Kuala Lumpur. Is that in the Commonwealth? <laughs> yes, it is. It's not the right answer. Oh. <laughs> I'm happy with that. <laughs> Delhi, we were looking for. Oh, wow. Delhi. Yeah. So that remains hidden as well. In which city was Dina Asher Smith winning? Harry? Berlin. Is the right answer, yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> Let's see if that helps. Oh, it looks like a lot like him, too, doesn't it? God, that's a spit for Lewis Hamilton. The woman with the stubble there. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I got a little bit confused. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking more like Daniel Ricardo. Uh, no, it isn't. Oh. Keep going for racing drivers. Yeah. <laughs> it's the clothes. Yeah. Fingers at the ready. Jason Day was on his way to finishing tied fifth at this year's Masters, which European was also in a tie for fifth place. Oh, Phil. Is it, um... No. Not Matt no, Wallace. Not Matt Wallace. Um, Eddie Pepperell. No. Oh. Molinari. Yeah. No? Was it? Which one? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's Francesco. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that will help. Sorry. Who is that? Got distinctive legs. I, st I, I still like Formula One. I don't know why. It's not. Is it Vettel? It's not Vettel, is it? No, it's not Vettel. One colour. Oh, I know who it is. Oh, let's just get. I think I know who it is. Yeah. Well, we'll have a go at Sebastian Vettel. Is the right answer. Oh. <laughs> Thank you.
Well done, that's made the difference. Phil is on eight, but Matt's in front on nine. <laughs> It is one point for a home question, two points if you want to gamble and go away. Uh, Sharon, coming to you first. I'll go home. Home. I'll go home. All right. In 2018, which Italian woman won three individual European freestyle gold medals at the age of 19? The IM girl was called Quadrilla, who won three golds and IMs. Uh, oh, okay. I can't think freestyle. I'm an IM swimmer, so I automatically go to IMs. Uh, Go on then. No, it's just, I'm just, yeah. I'm going to go with Quadrilla then, but. The right answer is Simona Quadrilla. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Glenn, home or away? 100% home. Uh, <laughs> okay. You're talking me out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Who, having scored over 100 goals in both La Liga and Serie A, Scored his first Premier League goals in February this year whilst on loan. It's been in La Liga. Um, I don't know. Who's okay, he called now, Rick Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah. So, scored a. So, one more time, so yep. just to be double checked. Yeah. Who, having scored over 100 goals in both La Liga and Serie A, scored his first Premier League goals in February this year on whilst loan. on loan? Was he on loan? Yes. Yeah, good. I think it's Higuain at Chelsea. It is, yes. Yeah. Gonzalo Higuain. <laughs> Well done. Uh, Harry, home or away? I think, I think let's go home. Go on, Harry. Let's have a moment. <laughs> <laughs> By winning Commonwealth 200 metres bronze last year, who won his country's first athletics medal at the Games in 28 years? Leon Reed. Yes, it was oh. for Northern Ireland. Yes. <laughs> Mark. Home or away? Home, please. Home. <laughs> Who, in November and December last year, reached three out of the four ranking finals, winning two and losing one? Neil Robertson. Just take your time. <laughs> Just take your time. Just take your time. That was to me, so take your time. <laughs> Say the question again, Sue. Who, in November and December last year, reached three out of the four ranking finals, winning two and losing one? Take your time. Three out of the four. <laughs> Might be, but just take your time. <laughs> yeah, probably not in then. O'Sullivan. No, it wasn't. Oh. It was Mark Allen. Unlucky. Three out of four. Hard lines. And at the end of that round, uh, Phil is on nine, but Matt's in front on 11. <laughs> of you are 15 balls. You need to put them in the basket you think matches the correct answer. And every ball you have at the end of the round is worth one point. Here's your first question. Yep. Which of these European countries won the most swimming medals at the 2016 Summer Olympics? Yes, Sharon. Great Britain, Italy, Hungary. Well, we actually did really well. We did really, I, I remember being in the village celebrating a lot of swimming success. Uh, don't, don't tell us that the swimmers celebrate because we're very calm and controlled. No, we were with you in the celebrations. Yeah. Yeah. GB and Hungary are quite close. Oh. So are we discounting Italy? Not discounting, but we don't think they won quite so many. So. Okay. We... So I'll, I'll start. Yeah. I'll start sort of distributing. I know that's terrible, isn't it? We're not really being very helpful here, because I don't know... If... Well, I'm going to go for the split. I think we had three individual goals, but not too many relays. They've got decent IM summer as well. And right. So, would you we had about six. I mean, yeah, if we've got about six, so you're about three. I think more GB, then. Yeah, more GB. More GB from... From Italy. From Italy. OK, yeah. I'll put yeah, two... I'd, I'd even say take a ...into double, GB. Please. Would you? Is, I mean, that, I, I is that too obvious to say GB? Is, there, is, there a little bit, is it close between it's GB close, and Hungary? It's close between GB and Hungary, I think. So, so do you want me to... Are you, are we're sort of discounting it. No, don't it? discount them altogether. Don't. I'd be happy to discount Italy. No, don't. don't, no? don't, don't, don't who who don't, are your don't Italian... Going on the clock. Who are your oh. Italian medal winners? I'd, I'd say move some from Hungary into GB. <laughs> Pellegrini on medals. Uh, Quickly. Six, yeah. six, Quickly. Six and three. Yeah. Six, six and three. <laughs> Six, six, and, and three. three. Thank you. Italy had 
four Ooh. medals. Oh, come on. Yes. Great Britain. Yes. Six. Excellent. Yeah. Hungary. Seven. Oh, you wow. take six through. We've got six. Yes, you do. Now we're going to make it a little tougher. Yep. You can only use two baskets. Okay. Which of these British athletes has won the most medals at major outdoor championships? Steve Backley, Denise Lewis, Jonathan Edwards. Steve's been around forever and ever. I mean, he was, did have a really long career, didn't he? Mm. Yes. But he would have only won... Only a, yeah, but they would yeah. all only have won yeah, only one. Single, so they would yeah. have all won heptathlon, yeah. triple or gotcha. javelin, wouldn't they? So yep. Are we discounting anyone? We have sort of... We have favoured Mr Backley and Mr Edwards so far. OK, We've favoured those right. two. Denise had a lot period of time where she was really injured. Bit of inju injury. So that takes her out for a, a few major competitions, OK. I think. Harry, do you favour one over the other? Um, question. <laughs> when was Steve's sort of first debut? Was it uh, 88? Was that his first Olympics? Seoul. Yeah. 88? That's 88. Did he medal? And where? And my question is, where was Jonathan at that point? Jonathan wouldn't have been in competition in the late 80s. No, it definitely Steve was around so, longer. Therefore, no. I would favour no. one extra in A on that basis. Right. That is you're where we are ending up. Yeah. That's it. You're done? That's it. OK. Yeah. You're done. Denise Lewis won seven. Oh, Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> Steve Backley won 13. Oh, OK. Which one's Steve Backley? A. A. Jonathan Edwards. 13. 11. <gasps> So you're left with four yep. balls for the last round, but this time you can only use one basket. Which of these sports World Cup is the oldest? Oh. Netball, men's cricket, rugby league. Oh, rugby league. Susan, what a oh, good question that is. Rugby league. No, so it's, got to be, it's got to be cricket. Cricket World Cup's not been going on so that, yeah. crazy. I mean, I, I, I would... I can't remember it being earlier than the one Tuffers played in 92. You cheeky monkey! <laughs> <laughs> so what about rugby league? So the, the rugby union was 87, was the first one. Yeah. Do I think the rugby league had a World Cup back then? I'm not sure. Mm. I'm going to say... I'm going to say the very early 90s as well. It might be the case where all these guys are... Yeah, products, fairly modern. ...products of the 90s, yeah. maybe. And that netball's maybe been around for an awful lot longer as a World Cup. You think? There's something telling me the cricket. But is that an obvious answer? D did anything like, spring into your mind to say, oh, yeah, definitely that? This is where my... Oh, I'm literally trying to think of everything. I'm like, which trophy looks the oldest? <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Not in rugby league, that's the Love oldest, that. doesn't it? Um, personally, I think the all products of the 90s, I would say cricket. I think netball's there to throw us off and rugby league's close. I would go cricket. We're going on the clock. OK, I'm torn between cricket I and netball. netball. And you're going to say netball, aren't netball you? Netball is A. But um, so, A or B? We, can, oh, we only have to put it Last on. two seconds. Oh, oh, go, oh, down go. to you, down oh. to you. Oh, oh. oh. No! 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 Is that wrong? What only two, wasn't it? Seventies. No! Yeah. Clive Lloyd, big flares. In a World Cup? Yeah. So we're even talking about the wrong decade. <laughs> We don't no know chance. the netball decade, do we? No really? chance. Sorry. Men's cricket was 1975. I told you Tuffers was playing then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> netball, 1963. Oh. <laughs> oh, hold on a minute. We're back in the game! <laughs> back in the game! Oh. 63! Rugby well. League, 1954! Oh. 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 <laughs> it was the oldest looking trophy. 
Yeah. It was the oldest. The oldest should have gone on that theory. theory. <laughs> should have gone on that theory. No points for Matt. Phil, can you do better? Yeah. Up come, you on. come on, Shane, now. <laughs> Here's your first question. Since 1980, yep. which of these has won the La Liga title in Spain on the most occasions? Barcelona, Real Madrid, everyone else. Take it away, Everyone then. else. <laughs> Listen, since the 80s... I'm happy to lump on Barcelona and Real Madrid. Oh. Everyone else? Who is everyone else? No one. <laughs> is Atletico, it? Madrid, Bilbao, Valencia. Atletico, couple. Celta Vigo as well, isn't it? Oh. I'll tell you what we need on this team, Phil, for this one, a footballer, don't we? <laughs> Listen, well, hold on. Let's just think. In the 90s... Right, now, hold on. Right. A Spanish one would help. <laughs> right. So, listen, think of teams. Think of teams. 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 You know, um, players. Yeah, well, like Lineker and Hughes were out there, weren't they? Yeah, so, so, hold on. So, last ten years... Last ten years... No, let's take it back to 2000, so that's 19 years. That was like Bex and Owen and that for... That was... For that's Madrid. just those A and B, isn't it, really? The last 19 years. Has anyone else won it in those 19 years? Atletico have won it a couple of times, haven't they? No, they haven't, I don't think, have Valencia they? Valencia won to one of the best. I think they have recently won it once, haven't they? Right, so that's once in 19 Can I phone a friend? Can I phone Bruno Salto? <laughs> <laughs> Valencia won to one it too many times. Valencia, any, you just go Barca, Real 7-7. Seven, seven. And then just chuck one in for the rest. 6-6-3 six, six, with us. 6-6-3? Six, six, yeah, we'll edge our bets. Oh, all right, OK. 6-6-3. Six, six, OK. You're on the clock. Oh, what do you think, Captain? Se we're on the clock? Hold on, where's C then? There. 663, you happy with that? Are you happy Are with you that? Are you happy? Well, I'd... I'd uh... You're the captain of the ship. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, everyone else? Yeah. Nine. Oh. Nine? That's all right. Is it? Yeah. Real Madrid, 14. Barcelona, 17. Yeah. Yeah. Barcelona, that's the right Well, answer. that's all right. We'll take that. We'll take that. So, Phil, you're taking six balls through. Correct. Okay. Now you can only use two baskets. Yep. Which of these snooker players has played in the most world championships? Come on, Selves. <laughs> Come on, son. <laughs> this is you. Sean Murphy, Ken Doherty and Graham Dot. What? Just, just played in them, yeah? Played in them. Ken's the oldest. He would have had the longest career. He won it first in 97. Obviously, he'd have been there a few times before that. But then saying that the last few years, he's not had the best season and not qualified. So, obviously, that don't count as him being there. Murphy won it 2005. When not just won it, though. No, but, I mean, it'd, it'd have been there every year since 2005. And I think he qualified the year before. 2004 was his first year. So, that's 16-odd. Yeah. <laughs> I'd go more Murphy and Ken than Graham. Graham won it too. More far. Murphy and Ken. I'd, I'd, I'd say more no, Sean and, and Ken than, than Graham. You. Graham won it 2006. He was in the top 16 for a few years, had a few bad years. Length of careers, not just, you know, be not just... Yeah, but it means actually being there. They could have still been a 20-year career, but only got there seven times. Oh, right, OK. Well, we're going three and three. Yeah. A and B. Sean and Ken, yeah, three and three, yeah. Sean and Ken, three and three. Don't yeah. fancy anyone just slightly more than the other? To be fair, I've had two snooker questions and gotten both wrong, so I might as well make an hat trick. <laughs> All right, yeah, OK. I might as well make an hat trick, Phil. All right, then. Only a bit of fun, isn't it? Yeah, Glenn, should we, should we put them all in Graham Dot? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Murphy? Yes. 17. Nice. Ken Doherty? 19. Nice! Graham Dot? 20. <laughs> it's all over. Bad luck, Tuffers. Back here. Oh, well, there we go. Never mind. Well, after that round, let's take a look at the scores. Oh, they haven't changed. Uh, Phil is <laughs> on nine, Matt's on 11. <laughs> the buzzer for our final round tonight. One point if you buzz in and get it correct. One point away if you are wrong. Fingers on the buzzers. Here we go. 
Where did China finish in the overall medal table at the Olympic Games in Rio? <laughs> Sharon? Third. Yes. Ooh. Snooker's Players' Championship moved to Preston from which Welsh town in 2019? Landon, no? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> With which swimming stroke did Imogen Clark win a European silver medal, Sharon? Breaststroke. Yes. Which European player won his two Wimbledon singles titles in 1988 and 1990? Nope. Matt. Matt? Did, did I push that? Yes. <laughs> you, you don't want to. If you want. Stick. No, it's not stick. Stefan Edberg. German basketball player Dirk Nowitzki played over 1,500 games for which NBA team? Dirk Nowitzki? <laughs> nope. Dallas Mavericks. Omar McLeod is the world and Olympic champion in which athletics event? Hundred and ten hurdles. Yes. Which striker scored in the semi-final and final of the Champions League for Liverpool last season? Striker. Origi. Ah, yes, it was. Which former world champion lost to compatriot Chris Eubank Jr. this year in his final fight? Oh, Bill. Chris De Gale. James DeGale. James DeGale. James DeGale, yep. In 2018... <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be kind. In 2018, Melbourne Storm reached their second successive grand final in which sport? <laughs> Glenn? Rugby League. Yes. Which golfer captained the American Ryder Cup team in both 2012 and 2016? Nope. Davis left the third. Oh, too late. Carlos Sainz and Lando... No <laughs> Well done, Matt. Well done, Matt. You held on that lead. It was tight there for a moment. Did you not feel you wanted a buzz in? Tough uh, not if I don't know the answer, sir. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. I could have been sitting there doing that all day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, congratulations to Matt's team and a huge thank you to Sharon and to Harry, also to Mark and to Glenn. The three of us will be back soon. Until then, from all of us here, good night. Uh, uh, uh.